hello YouTube uh, and welcome again to another tutorial and today um as you have seen some of my tutorials uh, today I'm just working on the layout and layout units the second part I believe I uh, if I'm not mistaken I uploaded the first one some time back so today we are just going to maybe remove um, what can I say maybe remove just the the layout border the layout border right yeah the layout borders so carrying on from what I uh, created from uh, the introduction to prime faces uh, prime faces on NetBeans tutorial well this one if I run it I get uh, this outcome this outcome refresh it this is the outcome that I have a calendar click me button or uh, prime faces and then I click here button uh, the normal access HTML and then the hello there so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll make this hello world <laughs> I'll make it hello world hello world and thanks to Optimus he made us do this so I'm gonna remove the calendar and um, I think I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, the prompt faces component just to make it uh, look like something great before I uh, go so to to dice lesson value username okay uh, I'm on pause this. Well, okay. Um, to carry on now, this is the architecture of what I want to show you. Uh, I believe you've worked with uh, um, the previous, you know, like uh, on my previous tutorial or any other source. I believe you worked with them um, in cases like this. So this is what I want to 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 do for you this is what I want to show you right now an architecture like this where the top layout unit will be showing the the top layout unit will be giving out the um, top layout unit will be having uh, the web application name and then the side layout unit the worst side layout unit this one will be showing the links and then the central part will be uh, basically displaying uh, the application content whatever you'll be trying to to edit so this is what our I want the web application to achieve right so to go on right now I have uh, like I said like I promised I have this and this and this and that so I coded this so go to my application I refresh it the structure is still like so so we want to achieve this so using the layout units like uh, from the previous tutorials I just declare uh, I just start typing a layout and then um, close it then the layout units the layout units if you've watched uh, my previous tutorials well I was talking of um, the arrangement sometimes sometimes problems my, might arise when working with layout unit for example uh, for example, check out this one. Okay, so just copy this and paste. Copy then paste it then paste it. Then the north, I'll go for the worst. And no matter what, when working with layouts, it's uh, best for you to define the center layout, right? The center layout. Make sure you have that. So after this, um. I start uh I start putting out my command links. The command links that I'm using, the command links will be on the wet on the west side of uh, the application, like so. Sorry about that. We really want to move with time, like so. The command links, and then uh, the web application. Hello, this one will be on the northern side of the. Uh, of um, 
uh, the northern side uh, plays the north placed layout unit and then the rest of the content like uh, the username input text and output level as well as uh, the command button will be obviously I'm just going to place it on the center just to make everything work out quite well come on All right so so this is what I'm going to have I'm going to have something like this, but then, ha, uh, oh, I forgot that. I'll put this cut and put it where? Uh, the center. Save it. Then refresh it. Hello, world credentials, please, and stuff like that. So, this is basically, and as you can see, it's uh, quite not look looking that well. So, to solve this you'll have to define some of the uh, you have to decide to define exactly what you want to achieve like uh, for example um, if I want the layout to really stand out in a good manner I'll have to define there is an attribute called full page full page it's a boolean so what I'll just say well it is uh, to make it true I need to make the layout not the layout unit but the layout the layout combines all the layout units so I need to define it as a full page and you can see it now stretches to fit the whole of the page so I also the also um, like other um, attributes that you can define for per each individual layout unit like the size uh, obviously for me size 90 for the northern side is quite well and then and then um for the west side the size 200 works out well for me oh sorry about that i was uploading something works out quite well for me so oh so refresh it as you can see it's now laid out quite well and then uh i'll have to just add a little bit then we'll go straight to the agenda of this uh of this um <laughs> let me let me just expand it yeah like so um on the center side i think i'll uh, just have to add uh prime faces panel grid Prime faces panel grid with uh, two columns. I just want to define the layout of my table. Paste that. Save it. Then I'll remove all the bricks. Sorry, I'm sorry. Then I'll remove all the bricks. The brick, the brick. Okay, so using the panel grid this is what I get and uh, yeah also I have all these uh, links like so so if you want to do something you one thing you have to know is if you want to work on something uh, um, it, it, as uh, that is the prime faces component what time is it oh eight minutes or uh, the prime faces component you uh, you like I said I once said it in one of my tutorials you have to know the uh, CSS sometimes defining it is not uh, within sometimes defining it is uh, based on um, the CSS of that company so let me say for example I want to edit um, the, this link or even this layout unit the website you can just as the minute you know the CSS file the CSS class rather for that layout unit uh, that's when everything will be quite easy to work on so if you don't know them uh, you can look for them via the internet you can just go google it or you can just uh, go um, google it the list of uh, all the CSS uh, classes in prime faces you can search that and um, you can also search on all the icons that the buttons in prime faces can have like so 
the jQuery UI um, as well as um, yeah yeah I'm, I'm wasting much time so the other way if you really don't have the internet at that time you can just uh, try to work around with it like um, most browsers for example me I'm using the Google Chrome I like it so much I like Google Chrome I like Googling so I just right click on it and then right click on the element that you want and then click on inspect element right click on it inspect element and then uh, the editor comes out as you can see like so every time you move you move a mouse on uh, the code the corresponding unit or component uh, on that web application gets highlighted and as you can see ah why does it come keep doing this as you can see for this uh, Western uh, layout unit the minute I highlight this is the the component that I want to inspect right and as you can see it is the class UI layout unit right layout unit content and then UI widget content and then the other things the respect the, the position the style so if you want now that we want to remove these lines from prime faces we want everything to act as if uh, it's normal yet uh, there will be in a in, a, in layout unit we just go to you can just copy this or you can just come over here check out the layout units and then edit this like so I can just copy this part copy it go back to my go back to my go back to my IDE then paste it and then do this and that and I'm sorry and to remove now to remove the 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 the, the layout you need border lines you just now that you know the class you just type border equal to what equal to none border equal to none you save that and then after saving it you see these lines disappearing ah I'm sorry about that oh. UI layout UI layout unit works quite well you see UI layout unit it works quite well UI layout unit unit so you just inspect the element then go back to your IDE after that then wake up uh, do all your tricks on the classes that you'll be finding and then voila you see the border lines are gone and if I remove it like so then save it run again run again the border lines come up again so sometimes you need to um, you need to work with that so thanks for watching and um before I go I'm just going to experiment a bit on uh, experiment a bit on something that I want to see if it really works but I believe it's just, it's just gonna work right like chocolate <laughs> I just want to change the by color you see you see like the lines you know, have changed to back color that color so maybe you want to pimp out your application that much this is just um, one thing that you can do this is just one thing that you can do so for a go I'll launch it for the last time red thank you for watching <laughs> Thank you.